Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Me and Jordan are out here again for some starling shooting. You guys have been loving the starling shoots out here on the farm. And if you guys like them, we just can't resist to do them because it's so much fun. Now, a lot of other hunts, a lot of other videos we've been doing with a lot of wind. Oh yeah, today it's 72 degrees and it's beautiful. Literally five mile an hour wind, if not any wind at all. So the shooting should be perfect today. Should be prime. I'm always complaining about the wind. This is the first day that we have a beautiful day and look at what we have in front of us. So we're sitting in the truck and as long as you stay in this truck, those starlings will stay there. The minute I open this door, they are all gone. But look how close we are. We're literally right here. It's like 20 foot. 20 foot. That's it. I can see that one's name tag. It says, <laughs> nah, never mind. <laughs> so the theory is, you guys have been requesting the pellet gun, the PCP, the air gun rifle starling shoot. Believe me, I can't wait. I just bought the gun last night. I'm not going to tell you what gun I bought, but it is a gun that you guys recommended. And I thank you so much for recommending the gun because it turned out it's probably one of the best for the price. The theory is we're going to be laying prone like right here in another video to come. And look, it's literally right there. Boom, boom. You're talking like literally a 20, 30, 40 foot shot with that pellet gun. So be expecting those videos. They are going to be awesome. But we got the old board up there. We're going to throw some corn up on her. Some cracked corn, that is. <laughs> All the wind blew it off last time. Completely cleaned it off. And we haven't rebated it because it's literally, this is the first nice day. It's been windy every single day. So we're going to fill it up with some bait. And then I have a really good plan. I think it ought to work. We should be busting them up today. Hopefully we shoot a ton of them today. We should. Well, here we go. We got the cracked corn. Oh, look at that yumminess. But old Jordan, he's the monkey himself. Way better of a climber than me. Well, you need to take the Crocs off. Oh my God, you're fast. You're faster than my kid, dude. Ah, your boy just can't climb that well. Plus, I wore my Crocs today as well. Got them bottom lands. Oh boy. Sorry, I ought to be filming you, Jordan. <laughs> Getting carried away with my new Crocs out here. I don't blame you. <laughs> Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh God. But there we go. She is full again. We're supposed to have decent weather like this. No wind for uh, probably a handful of days. So we're going to keep her baited up. Our bait should be staying up there pretty well. They're landing right beside the darn thing, right on that rail. They're standing within probably two feet of it most of the day. Oh yeah, that's an exaggeration. 20 feet. Who knows if they've actually landed on it and ate it, but we're going to keep it baited like I said. Probably, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks even, just to ensure that they know it's there. And then we're going to set them bird traps out there. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Oh, here we go. So this is the plan, y'all. Right down yonder, we scared them up, but there was a lot of starlings eating our corn there. But check it out. Up in this tree, tons come straight to that tree. And what they do is they loaf there, and whenever they want to jump down and get them a drink, it's boom. So it's a real leisurely little situation we have here. And then the good thing about it, see there's the uh, shed over there where the board is, where we just were. They fly right across here and just boom, straight in this tree. So I think we're going to sit either right here or right over there. And these birds should literally just cruise right to this water, right to this tree without even knowing we are here. This should be epic. This is, we're not gonna use a decoy, so you can call this a no decoy challenge if you want to. We should have them coming right to us. This, this is gonna get juicy. Well, here we are, we are sat up, check it out. I need to get in the blind so we can start shooting here. But check it out, we got the panel blind on this side. We got this on the back side, so we're covered from both directions if they come from that way, from the water, or coming to the water. We got the water on the back side, and there's our tree. This ought to get pretty saucy, y'all. And today, check it out, Federal sent me some of these high bird, 12 gauge high birds. These are 12 gauge, seven and a half shot, one and an eighth ounce, two and three quarters. Ooh. Told you you can't shoot with this gun. And yeah, Jordan's using his trusty old youth model 20 gauge today. Y'all have been requesting that I use a 20 <laughs> gauge, and uh, believe me, I will. 
Oh, you winged it. Go down! Look, these guys are like, what are you shooting at, man? You suck! <laughs> but you did get a lot of birds up. Holy smokes. Smoked him. <laughs> uh, Whoa. Nice. Whoa, I'm about to fall here. <laughs> well, first bird down, he got smoked. I mean, pew, smoked. Well, first bird down, man. But I'm telling you what, these cattle, they're just used to us. Look at them. They'll just sit here and stare at us forever. Hey, man. What were you saying about the cows and the pop can? Uh, well, these are the young ones. These are the heifers. We call them the springers. They were born in the spring last year. Anyway, um, and they're the dumb ones. Like, anything gets them excited. We, my buddy and I, the owner, we were messing around one day. We went and took a tin can. We stuck it out in the field over, like, in their pen. And it took, like, three minutes for all of them to be like, oh, What is that? <laughs> Holy cow, it's shiny. And they're, they're just the dumbest of all of them on the farm here. We're gonna, we're, we're definitely gonna have to do that. Put a, put a tin can out there and uh, just watch them stare at it. Just like <laughs> us, we set up here and they're just sitting here chomping on the grass, watching us, they're like, they're back and we're bored. They're literally bored all <laughs> the time. They're always bored. Yeah. Ooh, here he comes, here he comes, bang him. Oh, I missed. Oh, he's dead. I think you got him. Oh, you switched to the 12 gauge, yeah, a huh? Bit. <laughs> You're like, I can't do it. I gotta get my 12 gauge. I gotta kill something for a little bit first, and then I yeah. can go back to shooting that hard stuff. I'm telling you, it, there's a big difference. When you're yeah. used to the 12 gauge, it's hard to get away from it. But real quick, before I do any more shooting, uh, this man, this high bird, woo! I'm telling you, for a little two and three quarter high brass, boy, howdy, it is a pounder of a shell i like it it can get out there and touch them pretty decent gotta say federal has sent me a bunch of awesome ammunition so big shout out to federal ammo i'm actually uh, headed up to minnesota in a few weeks to go okay. to their plant yeah, so I'll be looking out for that video day. it'll be awesome kind of like a friday night i got up with oh he's dead nice. Woo! boy i barely caught up with him on the second shot he came across right here. You were still talking. I was like, oh, I gotta go. Bang, <laughs> bang, uh, what the hell? <laughs> <going on? laughs> yep, this one right here. Yep. Darn it. Darn it. Oh, he's winged. He's going to He's yeah, <laughs> boom. I think that was a little bit of team effort there. Oh, right there. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. Oh man, he's not all the way dead. Give him a give him a good old crapper with the 20 gauge. Get him, boy. Get him. He dead now, boy. He dead. Well, me and Jordan just been sitting here shooting the you know what and uh we've been talking about the comments that you guys have been leaving down in the comment section below because I always ask I'm like, guys, if you guys have a good video idea, put it down there. If you guys have a good comment, a good recommendation on anything that I do, and especially whatever videos you guys want to see, leave it down below. And uh, Jordan actually brought up a comment. He's like, hey, did you see oh. that? Whoa. <laughs> did oh, you cook. Catch, clean, cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that one a lot. You guys want to see a catch, clean, and cook. But we're going to... I don't want to eat one. Maybe, but... ne maybe next time. But he brought up the uh, comment that one of you guys gave, and it was the... Hey, Bobby, you should uh, scan them, is that right? And then sell the feathers for fly fishing lures. It was something lures. like that. It was, uh, is that right? Something like It was basically starling skins. Yeah. Basically, somebody just said, you know, people use starlings for their feathers to tie fly fishing lures. Are they lures? Flies. 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 I'm not a fly fisherman. I'm barely a fisherman as it is. But check out their if feathers you guys can here. See that sheen on there? Nice yeah. green and gold. Oh yeah. The white tip. The, they are pretty. Cool feathers. So I guess it's a thing to uh, sell starling skins. What other bird skins do you sell? If you guys want to see me try to make some money off some starling skins, I got a lot I... of regulations to look into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll look into it. <laughs> you guys, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's even legal. I'd have to look into it. But long story short. Thank you guys for always dropping your comments down below. You guys have some interesting, interesting ideas for videos. I'm telling you. 
Oh, we got a buzzer. Oh, you're lucky, dude. You're lucky. He's a smart one. Skirting right on the edge. Some of them are smart. Some of Bottom them are smart. Yeah, some of them, IQ, they're IQ a little more than the others. Oh, well, the shooting back here has really slowed down. I think we've shot a total of five back here out of the panel blind, but there's a reason why it slowed down. They just got done feeding up at the cattle bunks. Whenever that tractor goes through that cattle bunk and lays feed down, the starlings know. So now they're all going up by the big shed, basically where the plywood is. So what we're gonna do, we got about an hour left uh, before we both gotta get jetting out of here. So we're gonna make a move and we're gonna go up there. But like I said, we're gonna shoot them today. It's a beautiful day, low, low wind. Like I said, we've down five back here. So we're gonna chase them, shoot as many as we can. But if you guys are liking this starling video, like always, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And if you're looking at getting some ducks olive gear like the olive hats or that olive shirt, I will link all of it down in the description below. Go pick you something up. It goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. Oh, look what time it is. Oh yeah. So like I said, they just got done feeding. He just put the tractor away. So all these starlings are just bum rushing this main shed here. Dude. I saw his buddy leave. What, do you, what are you doing up there? I am. Hold on. <laughs> I've got your pigeons. <laughs> oh, there's a little crevice back there. You can tell. Jordan's been, he's literally grown up out here. He knows all the little nooks and crannies where to find pigeons and everything. <laughs> Oh, you, dude, you are a nut. What the heck? <laughs> oh, for fun. Oh, what do you got in your pocket there, bud? Did you make a new buddy? Oh, big time. I'm gonna name him Pretty, second name Bird. <laughs> oh, Pretty, second middle name Bird. Oh, Pretty Bird. Oh, yeah. Looky there, caught him a live pet. You gonna put him in the I new pigeon loft? I have take him home and put him in the loft. Jordan actually had a pigeon loft and it got blown over by a freaking tornado. So he was like, dude, should I start up the pigeon loft again? I'm like, yeah. So, here we go. It's the first addition to the loft. Bird number one. If you guys want to see some pigeon loft videos, we're going to have the loft out at Jordan's place, like I said. Probably buy some uh, rollers, you know, buy some cool ones. If you guys want to see those videos, let me know down below. Mm -hmm. Oh! He is dead! How's <laughs> That was a decent shot. That was money. <laughs> I seen him come over the building. I'm like, nah, why not? Like with those wow. Shells, I knew it. It's wow. Right. Yeah, them hybrid shells. They're no joke. They do it. Oh. oh, he landed on the pole. I will smite you. Oh, you, he's been smited. That have been smitten. <laughs> right over us, dude. Smite them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're landing on top of the oh. building. You little suckers. Two of them just landed right on top of the shed. <laughs> I'm ready to shoot. My trigger finger is <laughs> itching. <laughs> nice shot, dude. I knew you were going to smoke him. <laughs> smite him. I was going to smite him. <laughs> he is a smited, <laughs> smitten net, man. Oh, look what we got. He's here to push up the feed. So, like I said before, the cattle like to nose that feed and look for chocolate. So what they do is they come back through and they push it back over to him. How cool is that? Ah, he flies through there, dude. <laughs> we don't waste time. But the man in the bobcat is actually the owner. And when me and Jordan uh, moved over here to our new spot, we talked to him. And he was giving us an old story of how he used to pay to actually keep the starlings out of here. And he said one way was to uh, actually poison them with certain poison that is extremely expensive that only kills starlings only. It doesn't affect any other birds or cats or anything. Starlings only. And he said every time he'd want to do it, it cost him at minimum $800. $800. So Jordan was like, just imagine. You had a bad mouse problem at your house, it costing you $800 to try to fix it one time. That's kind of what it is here. That's why we're out here. And that's why the owners are like, come out here whenever you want. You're helping so much. And I can tell because 
we have gotten rid of a lot of oh, starlings. not near the birds. I mean, a ton. The first time I came out here, there were thousands. Like, you, at any time, you could see a thousand of them. Get him. Nice! Well, Smite him! Because he has been smitten! <laughs> Get him. Nice shot, dude. Anytime they're coming right here, dude, you're smacking them. If that, they would all come that close. That left to right, I like the left the to right. The left to right is your shot. Yep, I hear you. Oh, well, look what Jordan just shot off camera. I didn't catch it. Got you a Eurasian dove, huh? Yep. Got him a collared dove there. Those Eurasian collared doves are open all the time. You can shoot them any time of year. Also invasive species. They are also invasive, correct. And how to tell, a lot of you have said, how do I tell, Bobby, between a Eurasian and a morning dove? Well, look at that. They're called collared because they got a black collar on their neck. That was one heck of a shot. I wish I would have got it on camera. It was nice. It was very, to believe me, it was nice. It was very nice. Coming over you. Ow! Oh, oh, God! God! <laughs> nice! Second shooter, baby. I did not think that I was going to make that happen. I was going to shoot him, but... I about fell. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Smoked it. Dude, that was a shot. I that didn't, was a poke right I there. I was way late, too. That Woo! was... Oh, boy. Woo we are done. It is 7.07. .07. We've been out here for much longer than we figured we would have. About two hours. <laughs> two hours longer than we thought. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was like, man, I got to be done here by 5.30, 6 o'clock. Here it is going on 7.30. But, like always, an awesome time. Uh, cannot beat this with a stick. You can't. You come out here, and uh, you come out with a buddy. You sit on a bucket behind a panel blind that goes up extremely easily, and you shoot. You turn on the head mount when you need to, and you shoot these darn starlings. I really hope you guys are enjoying these farm vlogs. They really have been, and we really got to thank Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Darn it. I do what I can. I'm telling you, me and Jordan, we've had a heck of a waterfowl season together. This season was actually Jordan's first big waterfowl season. First one. You had been wanting to, and I had finally it happened. Twice before. Oh, you only hunted waterfowl twice before twice. this season. We shot three birds combined. See? <laughs> and see, you know, this is how things work, you know? You, you, you get in touch with somebody and you both have the same interest in mind and this is how friendships grow. So like always, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I hope that you guys are gonna be sticking around for more of these farm videos. We're having a ton of fun shooting these starlings. I can tell you, we're gonna do some trapping videos, yes, but the shooting that me and Jordan have been doing, we have thinned these bad boys out. I mean, today it really told the story. These suckers are getting thin out here. Yeah, they're not near the birds that they used to be. Not by even any means. Not even close, dude. Not. Nah. But if you guys have any video suggestions that you want to see us do, any type of different starling shoots, I really want to do a 410 pistol starling shoot, but I'm afraid it's just going to be too hard. So if you guys have any video suggestions, put them down below in the comments. Remember to pick up something from Ducks if you want to support the channel. And again, Thank you to Jordan. Subscribe if you haven't. We will see you on the next one.